Hey, in this video, we're gonna address soundproofing between floors. Uh, on a previous video, I talked about uh, soundproofing an entire room and preventing noise from escaping, like from a home theater, you know, making sure the rest of the house is nice and quiet while you're cranked up and having your fun. Now, what if you want the reverse? Well, what are some of the examples? Uh, in my life, I had once, the people living above me, their kitchen was directly above my bedroom, and I couldn't carpet upstairs because it was already tiled. Now let's say you, for example, are finishing your basement and you want a nice office or a nice quiet reading room and upstairs is nice hardwood floors. You don't want to carpet that either. So what do you do? You dress it from underneath. Now there are two types of noise pollution, as I like to call it, uh, sound, okay? There is like uh, airborne noises, which are obviously, you know, come through the air, talking, music, what have you. And there's also impact noise, which is basically vibrations through the joists and the wood. You know, easiest example is someone's upstairs either walking or dancing. Nothing's gonna prevent that unless you do these following steps. First of all, the airborne noise. We're gonna use Roxel Safe and Sound, okay? That is gonna prevent any music, any singing, any screaming, kids, what have you. Secondly, as I said, the impact noise, that is caused by physics, shall we say. People walking on the floor, vibrates the floor, vibrates the joist, vibrates your drywall. So to, to lessen the vibration, we're gonna use this. This is called a resilient channel, all right? As you can see, it's gonna be almost independent from the joist. You're gonna tack it into the joist itself. This is gonna float independently. And then finally, you got your drywall. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna screw your drywall into your resilient channel, which is attached to your joist. So by following these steps and attacking noise pollution two ways, you should have a much quieter and a much more pleasant reading room. All right, so let's start soundproofing. Now, the first thing you wanna do, step one, is you wanna look for any holes that might be uh, in the ceiling that where plumbing or wires might go through, such as this one here, all right? But that's an easy, simple fix. All you do is you take a, an acoustic ceiling like this, you fill in the hole like that, and we're done. Once you've filled all the holes, you are ready to install your rock cell safe and sound. All right, now that we have sealed up all the holes with the acoustic sealant, it is now time to put up the Roxel Safe and Sound bat. Now remember, this is not thermal insulation. This does what the name implies, safe and sound. It stops airborne sound from passing, but the bonus feature is that because this product is made out of rock and slag, which is uh, recycled metal, it will not burn and it will not smoke. That's the added bonus. Easy to install. You just insert it. You compress it. and release. Now when we finish doing all the joists, then we'll put up the resilient channel and the drywall. Okay, so remember, uh, we are combating two types of noises. We're airborne noise and impact noise. Now the Roxel Safe and Sound should cover the airborne noise because it's doing what it's supposed to do. But again, we talked about impact noises. And what is that? That's when people of us upstairs are walking and the vibrations come through all the joists. Now, in order to combat that, we put this up. This is called a resilient channel. I've put the first one up, and I've marked the second one where I'm gonna want it at 16 to center. And so, line it up there, line it up there, okay. And we just put it up with drywall screws. Now, once the rest are all up at 16 to center, that gives us our, basically our vib vibration barrier, shall we say, and then we're ready for the drywall. Now, when putting up the drywall, there's really no point in putting it up against the joist because that defeats the purpose of what we are trying to achieve. What you want to do now is you want to put the drywall onto the resilient channels themselves, such as this. Also, because this is a metal product, you want to use fine threaded drywall screws. There you go. All right, well, let's attach the back one as well. So remember, seal the holes with an acoustic sealant, put in rock salt, safe and sound, add the resilient channels, and you're ready for drywall. And you should have a nice, quiet, comfortable reading room.